this show is we're gonna do uh, a montage. So we're gonna do, uh, uh, this will be like a series of, of scenes uh, inspired by a couple words that you guys give us and they may relate to each other or they may not. Uh, can I please get uh, something uh, that you have to save up a long time to buy? Chain mail. Huh. Chain mail. <laughs> <laughs> like it. Oh, oh. Sorry, it's hard to leap in this arm. <laughs> Sir Stephen. Yes? Thank you for coming to the aid of your king. My highness, your highness. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm confused on the protocol. Come on, keep it together, man. You're shot. Sir Richard, I also appreciate your coming to the aid of your king. Sir Richard the encourager. Sure thing, our highness. <laughs> really, neither of you. Okay, fine. It makes it sound like we're a couple. <laughs> Wait. You're, we're a couple. You're, of, you're not? We are. A couple, couple of knights. <laughs> <laughs> Sir, we fight together. Sometimes we swap chain mail. <laughs> Look, sometimes he just wears the bottoms and I wear the top. <laughs> Look, I'm a very, I'm a very forward-thinking king. I, I told you he'd be okay. Oh, great. Whatever you choose to do in your tower is your business. Thank you. <laughs> now, I need to send one of you on a quest. <laughs> well, we were in this together. He said one. <laughs> Great riches await oh, he who completes this quest. Someone named Rich. Yeah, I'll do it. I know Rich. Nope. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> He's handsome. You've never even met him. But... No, not him. Rich. <laughs> Sir Stephen. <laughs> I'm through with you! He does this all the time. He shinks around our apartment. It's so <laughs> Terry? Terry, you've done a, a pretty good job here. Thanks. Thanks. I like it. I think I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. Yeah? Well, if you aspire to get out of the mail room someday. Oh, I do. I do. I'm, I think I'm executive material. Well, about that. You gotta stop opening the packages. I know it's you. Terry, I know it's you. Look, if, if someone in the mail room was to open the packages, and I'm not saying that anyone is. Video. Okay, that is me. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, hang on, I got a very good reason why. Go on. Doug, somebody ate half my edible arrangement. <laughs> All the pineapple, chocolate covered pineapple and strawberries have bites out of it. Okay, that could have been anybody. That could have been anybody. Could it have been? Okay, that's me too. <laughs> Guys, I had my deodorant and there was hair on it. Uh, kind of light blonde, white hair. Okay, that is mine. I won't oh, even deny it. I'm not All even right. going to deny it. Yes? My mail order bride showed up. I am sorry about that, okay? Prima doctor. Days I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna work my way all the way through. And we'll be free. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Carl. One day you might, but well, I'm here for last rites. What? Dead man walking! You're being executed in five hours. They were just talking about the movie. I'm being executed? Yeah. The next movie is A River Runs Through It, starring. Val Gilmer. <laughs> wow, well, they must have remade that movie without Robert Redford. <laughs> it's a shame. It's a shame because I really like Brad Pitt in that movie. It was a great movie. We I'm can't here. afford that one. We got the knockoff. Carl, this I'm jail here. sucks. I'm here to listen to your sins. You better get yourself right with God. You cold son. <laughs> Gotta make myself right with you. All right, hurry up. I was playing. Pirates of the Caribbean on the new Xbox. <laughs> I've got the is Xbox that, is that the new Val Kilmer version? <laughs> Nobody likes a smart ass.
I only want to hear two words from you. I'm sorry. I'm glad you said it. I'm so glad you said it. <laughs> it's weighing me down. Hey, hey, hey! Lydia. You say I'm sorry to me. What do you want me to say? I want you to say that you're sorry to me. But you've already said it, Linda. I think it's clear. You messed up big time. I messed... Look, you're the one who wanted to do the Renaissance Fair, okay? And you're the one who wanted to do the joust. I made paper mache armor for him. He's dead. And I think you at least owe me an apology. Oh, maybe, maybe I owe him an apology, but I don't see if I owe you an apology. You're still alive. In fact, I've got a lot of stress right now. I killed a man. I think you owe me another apology, Linda. You could have told me you were using paper. I used actual, actual metals and things. I welded. I stayed up all night. I sharpened. I hammered. I had an anvil. How was I to know you were using paper? Because I told you. What? We're doing, I told you. I said we're going to be there. I made paper mache armor. I didn't hear the armor part. I thought you just made some paper mache craft. OK, I, now I understand where the miscommunication was, oh. at least. So, so we'll call it even then, Linda? <laughs> Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> Let's not say a word about this to anyone. All right.